but European shares are rallying on the back of better than expected earnings results. Lindsay Janice joins us from London with more. Lindsay, they've been coming in thick and fast today, haven't they? They sure have, Allison, and investors are quite clearly encouraged. We had Axo Nobel, the paint maker, buyer, the company that makes aspirin and chemicals. Uh, also, uh, Spanish bank Santander, French car maker Peugeot Citroën, all of these companies beating expectations. Also, SAP, the world's biggest maker of business management software, raising its full-year forecasts for profitability. Net profit for the second quarter beating expectations, though that company is lowering sales guidance a bit. That's, of course, because the economic environment still remains tough. Take a look at the markets. You can see the reaction. Uh, more than half of the European companies that have reported this month have beaten analysts' forecasts. That's what's been driving this rally over the last couple of weeks. Investors see company earnings improving. That's helping support the view that the worst of the economic slump is behind us. But a day like today, with eight major European companies out with earnings, there was bound to be one there was a disappointment. It was ArcelorMittal. It's reporting a second quarter net loss of nearly $800 million. That's more than twice what analysts had expected. You can see its shares down there, more than 8%. That loss, though, included provisions for job cuts and also inventory write-downs. Going forward, Arcelor says it expects that the first half of this year was the bottom of the cycle, Allison. Okay, that was uh, Bloomberg's uh, Lindsay Janice.